Slide to conform component already looks good, but we can make two improvements to make it better. To reinforce swiping movement, let's gradually fade out the label and also change the background color from blue to green as the user drags the handle to the right. So we'll need to change opacity of the label and the background color of the component based on the X value of the handle. And for that, we're going to use a motion value hook. Motion value is a more low level concept. And although we haven't used it explicitly, all animations that we've created so far use motion values under the hood. It is a primitive that keeps track of the current value and the velocity of CSS properties that we control and thus makes animations possible. So let's see how we can use motion value directly. I'll import use motion value hook and create a new variable called opacity. That will be a motion value with the initial value of 0.5. To connect it to a motion element, I'm going to use style prop and set it to an object with opacity property. Now if we save the changes and navigate to the component, we can see a semi-transparent handle. With motion values, we can control CSS properties imperatively, like we've done it earlier using use animation hook. For example, I can call opacity.set at any time and it will update element's opacity without triggering a React re-render. However, unlike use animation hook, we cannot call start method to animate the change to a new value. So in that way, use animation hook is more powerful. Anyway, let's try to do something more interesting. Instead of binding our motion value to opacity, let's bind it to X property. I'm going to rename opacity to offset and set its initial value to zero. Then inside style object, I'll set X property to offset. Note that X property is already controlled by use animation hook. And now we've also bound it to offset motion value. In a setup like this, the value of the offset variable will be automatically synchronized with the actual X offset of the toggle whenever it is changed by use animation hook. We can demonstrate it by subscribing to changes of motion value and logging it to the console. Let's add an on change listener to offset variable, which will console log the new value. Then I'll save the changes and navigate to the component. Now you can see that as I drag the toggle, the offset value is being logged in the console. Offset motion value isn't particularly useful on its own, but now we can use it to produce another motion values. Let's create new values for label opacity and component background color and make them change as we drag the handle. We'll start with opacity and before implementing it, let's discuss how it should work. So when the handle is in its leftmost position, we want label to be fully visible. And when it's in the rightmost position, we want label fully transparent. So as we move the handle and X offset changes on a scale from zero to 260, we want opacity to gradually change on a scale from one to zero. To create such dependency, we can use transform hook, which does exactly what we want. It maps a motion value from one scale to another to produce a new motion value. So let's remove on change listener, import use transform from frame of motion and create a new motion value variable called opacity by using transform hook. We're going to pass it our offset value first followed by the input scale from zero to right offset, and lastly, the output scale from one to zero. So to reiterate, when offset value changes, use transform hook will know that it belongs to this input scale, and it will find a respective value for it on the output scale. Now we just need to replace span with a motion span, add style object, and set opacity property. So let's save the changes, navigate to the component, and we can confirm that as I drag the handle, label opacity changes from fully visible to fully transparent. Now let's do the same for the background color. Background color also needs to change based on the offset value. And the first two arguments to use transform hook will stay the same. So I'm going to duplicate opacity value, rename it to background, and remove the last argument since the output scale will be different. Use transform hook is very powerful and can handle more than just numeric ranges. So if I specify the output range using hex values for nice blue and green colors, it will work just fine. Now we just need to add motion prefix to the outer div and set style with background property. 
Let's save the changes and confirm that now both opacity and background color get updated in response to the change of X property.